Hello and welcome back. So today for Monday Masking, we are going to be taking a look at the Arbonne Rescue and Renew Detox Face Mask. Now, if you haven't heard of Arbonne before, they are a natural sort of wellness lifestyle brand and they're very ingredient focused in making sure that they abide by so many different um, cosmetic and skincare ingredient laws and they're just very, very mindful of what actually goes into all of their products. And today, the mask that we're going to be looking at looks like this. So it has a twist bottom that just opens and closes and then you squeeze out the mask. As you can see, I've already used this mask before. And what is in this mask? Well, there is turmeric, which is really, really great for inflammation, brightening, and helps kind of keep bacteria at bay. There's also ginger root, which is really clarifying. Um, there's some neutralizing acids, which also help to clarify, refine, and brighten the skin. Uh, what else? There is some um, rosemary oil, which is very, very hydrating for the skin. And finally, there is some French pink clay in here. So when we apply this, I have a little bowl and spatula. We're going to use those, apply it. I'm going to look like an Oompa Loompa just because of the color of this mask. And then we're going to watch it dry out all these nasty, nasty impurities on our faces. I will definitely show you a close up, don't you worry, um, especially around here. And yeah, let's get started applying this and see how it works. Hair is up and we mean business. So I am going to take this little bowl in this mask and I'm gonna squeeze some in here. Ah. It smells sort of minty and kind of smell the rosemary. Well, I look bald because you can't see my pony, but it's there. Um, and then we're gonna take this little keel spatula, just dip it on in here and apply it. I'm gonna move some of these baby hairs out so I can get these awesome blemishes. Okay, so there's the mask. I can already feel it drying around my mouth. Not sure if you can see these lighter spots. So those are sort of the thinner spots that I've applied. And it just looks like I'm wearing like the worst colored foundation ever. So now we wait 15 minutes or up until the mask is dry. And I did apply a bit of a thicker layer than I normally would, but um, that's okay because it'll still do the exact same job that it's going to do anyways and we will see how this works. Alright, so I'm going to go wait for 15 minutes or until this mask is dry and then I will see you guys then. Okay, so I can't really talk right now but it has been about 15-20 minutes. Actually, let me check. Yeah, it's been about 15-20 minutes and we are going to go wash this mask off. It is very tight. I cannot smile. Um, and as you can see, like it started cracking around the mouth because I'm trying to talk. And you can also see all my little pores that it has sucked some oil out of, which is kind of gross. And my face is going to be so red after I wash this off. I can already tell. Not because it hurts or anything like that, but it is tight. But just because my skin is kind of, not sensitive, but it's reactive in the sense that it changes colors very easily. I blush so easily. So definitely gonna be some flushing, but let's go wash it off and I will come back and show you guys what the end result is, okay? All right, so I just washed the mask off and my face feels very 
lifted not tight but lifted I am also real red which is not unusual for me so I'm not like in a panic I do still have like a little bit of residue on my face that I wasn't able to fully wash off um, but this redness will subside give it some time and it doesn't hurt at all my face just feels like <laughs> That's the best description I could give you. Um, it also feels very, very clean, and I really like it. I just feel like, it feels clean. Like, after I use mask, I want my face to feel like I used a mask. And that is exactly what I feel right now. So for that reason, I am happy. Um, yeah. I don't know if this mask is for everybody. If you have sensitive skin, definitely use like a really, really thin layer and patch test it just because you really don't want, oh, I have a hair in my eye. You don't want to irritate your skin. Always patch test everything. I know it's like really tedious and kind of annoying because you just want to use the product so badly, but it's always worth doing before you try out something new. And that is today's video. I'm gonna go wash off these last little bits on my face, apply some liquid collagen to my face in a nice soothing moisturizer, and get on with my day. And I will see you guys later. I hope you have the most amazing day today. I know when I post this, it'll be a totally different day, but it is beautiful out, and hopefully the next few days stay just as beautiful as this wherever you are. And I will see you guys later. Bye.